well, but you know, I like silver, you know, as an investment also. Um, and you know, you just look at the supply demand um, that comes out basically every year by the uh, World Silver Survey. Um, and you know, the production keeps going down every year. The demand keeps going up. You throw in, you know, electric vehicles. You throw in solar. You throw in all the green energy stuff. The 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 usage of silver is you know going parabolic. It's going astronomic, yeah. and the supply keeps decreasing because. Um, there hasn't been really many major deposits found yeah. over the past 20 years. It's getting tougher and tougher to uh, mine silver. Like the 80% of the world's silver comes from Mexico. And Mexico is not a, not a great place to operate anymore because AMLO, who knows what he's going to uh, do the right. next day. So you need to s step out. Silver is a risky investment, but you need to step out and take some political risk as well. You need to look at Bolivia. You need to look at Morocco because those are underexploited areas. You can't areas. just play it safe necessarily like you know, I don't want to pick exactly. on First Majestic, but with Jared Canyon, they thought maybe yep. U.S. safe, let's go there. Yep. That's yep. not necessarily the solution. No, um, you know, the United States is, uh, you know, it's expensive to operate right. in. You know, it's a first world country. Um, if you step out to Bolivia, if you step out to Morocco, the cost of labor is extremely low. The right. cost of mines is extremely yeah. low. Um, and you're, you know, it's an, it makes for an extremely, um, you know, creative, you know, mine. Yeah, well, on that note, you have Aya Silver that's mining in Morocco. Right. Um Talk to me about some, because, you know, we know the usual suspects. We know who've yeah. been around, First Majestic, Hecla, uh, yeah. Silver Core. But talk to me about this kind of new energy in the silver space of companies that you're eyeing that you think are interesting. Mm, well, you know. And it, I'm not it, asking it, you to pick yeah, favorites. Yeah, I know no, it's like it's, choosing amongst yeah, your favorite It's really but. fun having this conference here because it's basically like the all-star team of it the is. gold mine and yeah. the silver mining industry. And, you know, having Peter here to tie it all together because yeah. he knows all those, all, oh, yeah. all the executives. Right. He works with a lot of the two or three of the different companies out there. Um, so it's it's great having them all together and you really get a, uh, you know, who's who inside baseball of, you know, the whole sector, um, you know, and basically, you know, it all follows, um, you know, Archie's rule, you know, grade is king. You need to find extremely high grade deposits. Aya has been, you know, delivering amazing drill holes for over two years from Zagounder um, and they're mining it right now in uh, Benoit. One of the things uh, that is a common thread between all the companies that that I that I like that I prefer. Um, all the executives, um, they're good. They're good guys. They're yeah. trustworthy guys. Well, they, Benoit Lasalle, CEO of Aya. He they, used to be with Semifo. He he did a great job right. at Semifo. They own shares in the companies. Right. Um, they uh, look at everything on a, on a free cash flow, profit, ounce production on, on a per share basis. You need to look at that. Some of these mining companies out there, they'll grow from a hundred thousand gold ounces to two hundred thousand, four hundred thousand, to a million gold ounces, and their share price goes down you know 50 percent 60 percent along the way why because on a per share basis they're losing value because they're not accretive deals the management's getting bonuses because they keep increasing production but shareholders keep you know right. getting shafted yeah yep. basically so you need to find the companies that are looking at a um looking at everything on a um per share metric and those are the companies uh that we prefer with a high grade deposit yeah. and once the things start aligning then it looks yeah. like a great and, and the other thing i liked about peter's talk um is that he kind of put things in perspective you know with people wanting a 50 dollar 100 dollar yep. kind of silver price you yep. kind of broke those fallacies so talk to me a little bit about your price projection i mean when you hear these okay. and i know you've been uber mm -hmm. bullish in the past mm -hmm. i mean have you changed your tune mm -hmm. No, not at all. Uh, silver's a volatile metal, but bottom line, like, yeah. it, you know, everything's coming together today. It's, you know, it's all about Archie's rule. You need to find the high grade deposits because uh, Archie's rule, it has the price of silver on the, um, on the X axis. So it goes further out. But what happens is a, people will take a low grade deposit and they'll say, listen, it doesn't look great right now, but if the price of silver goes to 50, look at how much money we're going to make. It's going to be worth billions of dollars. But you know what? You need to um, adjust the operating costs as well because what drove gold and silver higher? It's inflation. So inflation is going to drive your costs higher. So what happens is that lower grade deposit, those costs are going to go up two, right. three times, right. and it's still going to be an uneconomic deposit. So therefore, if you find the um, deposits in companies with extremely high grade and extremely creative projects, those projects that are the best now, when the price of silver rips higher, right. those are those the best projects for that as well. And